Hello everyone, welcome to today's message. Today being um, Wednesday, November 2nd, 2022, and this message is for everybody, for the whole collective. I hope you'll enjoy it. I hope it guides and helps you, and your guiding angels are present. Um, with this reading, let's have a look what are the two major impacts that will impact you today. Welcome, my dear viewers. Happy birthdays to all of you celebrating birthdays and happy anniversaries for those of you celebrating anniversaries. Now we have the Hierophant. The Hierophant is a beautiful card. It's about the changes and transformations that are going to take place in your life to uplift you, to um, make you wiser in some cases and uplift you. There's a lot of things that you will go through. Some of you will be going through starting um, new projects, uh, upgrading your skills, work skills, or wanting to get some higher education. Some of you could be uh, inspired to join different institutions for your well-being for your health for your um, fun excitement playfulness some of you will be committing to doing something new or bringing something new into your life your spirituality is going to be heightened there is a lot that happens with the hierophant also those of you who are trying to abide by the rules of authority and the um, the mainstream so uh, there is a lot and we will clarify this this card but it is a card of commitment also at the same time committing to something new but the, um, this is the two major arcana which is really incredible we have the temperance card the temperance is all about your guiding angels working behind the scenes to bring you happiness to bring you balance and most of all to bring you abundance of stability in your life so that is truly incredible we will um, clarify that too a little bit of patience and you will see that everything is going to pour um, blessings will be pouring into your life with the temperance card let's have a look at the um the forest sacred forest and see what's one card the message for everybody for wednesday november 2nd and we have the truth the truth is an incredible card it's about being aware of the truth and coming to terms with the truth again we have number five come out twice this shows that there are a lot of changes and transformations taking place especially for those of you that are working um, teamwork um, working in conjunction with others or you know having working in a business or families relationships there's a lot of truth that's going to come to light there's a lot of truth that you need to be aware of and caution with the raven there um, the raven spirit is about cautioning this card is cautioning you that you need to be aware of the truth or you need to pay attention to the truth and um, that's very intri intriguing let's see what the tarot tells us more about this truth Let's have a look at um, the Radiant Wise Tarot and see what they want to tell us. Okay, so we have the Justice card, which is an incredible card to come um, right after the truth. Raven um, being cautioned about the truth. It shows justice. Justice is also about the truth. It's about integrity. It's about doing things with honors. It's about having um, justice in your favor. So for those of you who are facing situations that are complicated in your life or lawsuits or any kind of court cases you will have justice in your favor if somebody's done the wrong thing by you justice is going to be in your favor and all for you so that is truly magnificent and the truth might come out also and give you the justice you need that's another factor the truth will come out and give you the justice you need. Now, the Seven of Wands shows that you are defending something. You are taking a stand. You are putting your foot down and, and defending either your ideals, your honor, what you believe in, your position, your work position, your home position. Um, you are um, taking the high road and saying, you know, I will not accept this. I want this. This is what, it's, what I believe in. So you are going to be a winner, especially because it came next to the justice, um, with the justice together, actually. And with that, both of these cards together with justice shows to me that whatever you're fighting for, whatever you're putting your foot down and not accepting and um, fighting to defend, you are going to have your justice. You are going to have your victory without any doubt. So know that the the truth is with you and it's going to support you to finally have your justice and all is going to be in your favor so um let's move on to the next card it's really great oh wow so many major arcana is coming out one two three four that's magnificent when it's major arcana is coming to your reading uh, my dear viewers that's when uh, big impacts major impacts are taking place in your life the empress is the power 
of the energy of abundance, the, the, the magnitude and the extreme abundance that's going to be pouring into your life with so much blessings in all areas of your life will be prospering, will be doing well. It's, 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 a, it's a card of abundance and fertility for those of you who are starting businesses or wanting to, it's a card of uh, getting your abundance here too. It's a card for those of you who are starting families. This is a time that you are fertile. It's, 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 a, it's when you are doing a business, it becomes fertile. You have abundance abundance will be coming into your life in all areas of your life and from all aspects so the source of extreme abundance is the empress and she graces um, your reading our reading all of us with her presence which, which is magnificent oh my god this is incredible the star another major arcana which is again the guiding angels really showing three guiding angels here very strong We've got the temperance, we've got the empress, and we've got the star. Guiding angels here are very strong. And I said it in the beginning, it just came out out of nowhere, that they're here present. They're to show you here that they are going to bring you balance, happiness in your life. As you can see, they're pouring happiness into your life, both cards, the temperance and the star. And it's all about bringing stability in your life, bringing you happiness, bringing you stability, protection, everything you need. And most of all, and especially in this regard, being favored, you will know that you are in grace. You are favored by your guiding angels, by the universe. It's going to give you so much and it's going to grant you one wish. Something that you've always wanted, something that's been in your heart for the longest time is going to be granted with this card, which is one of the best cards um one of the most beautiful cards to be granted one of your wishes. So next to the abundance with the Empress, it just goes beautiful, the star with the Empress. Now, the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning that brings you prosperity, the beginning of prosperity. Something that you're starting, some of you could be starting a new project, a new love, a new situation, a new home, a new business. Whatever you're doing, it is going to be extremely prosperous. It's going to open doors for you. It's going to expand. It's going to bring you prosperity. It'll be pouring into your life from different avenues, especially one particular area. One path of your life is going to be extremely prosperous. So prepare for that. Um, especially if you are, like I said, starting something new, a new beginning. And wow, we have the Ten of Cups, the greatest card, one of the best cards. It's all about emotional fulfillment, happiness, contentment, and having your dreams and wishes being all established, not only one with a star, but we've got now the Ten of Cups. As you can see in the illustration, you know, people happy, having everything they've always wanted, the dream home, the dream life the dream job, the dream, uh, whatever you've been wishing for. This is where I say one of your wishes is going to be established because um, it is going to give you the greatest happiness and um, prosperity and uh, years of happiness coming and legacies of happiness with the Ten of Cups. Magnificent. Okay, so we have the Emperor, another major arcana which shows that you will be empowered. You are going to be in control of your life. You will finally have control and power to do what you want, the way you want, and have uh, things your way you will be um, also could be uh, some of you could be offered a position that you can't refuse but the universe is putting you in this position the position of power and control over your life over everything your life's journey and having it, everything you've always wanted you'll finally have authority and control of your life which is really magnificent we have the page of cups an idea somebody might um, give you an idea uh, of something to do somebody might be uplifting coming in your life and being quite uplifting with ideas one particular idea is going to become wonderful it will be very prosperous uh, this person could have water energy in them uh, they could be either their sun sign could be or they could have uh, a little bit of water energy in them such as scorpio cancer or pisces this person is going to bring you some good news some some inspirational news something wonderful is going to be coming from this person that might inspire you and uplift you and bring on some good good news and some prosperity also. Now, my dear viewers, we will just uh, clarify uh, some of the cards. We'll start with the Seven of Wands. Let's have a look what um, the, the collective is um, defending and, and fighting for. Let's see what the Seven of Wands is all about. We'll take two cards. Okay, so that's really wonderful. Okay, so it shows that you will have your wishes and dreams being granted with the Nine of cups so know that whatever you're standing for you are going to have exactly what you want and more because the nine of cups is about happiness to the highest level but also it's uh, we've got the ten of cups and the nine of cups it shows that there is uh, actually i want this to be actually lifted and just put there so that you can see the nine of cups and the ten of cups the ten of cups is having all your wishes and dreams come true and um 
contentment and the highest level, extreme happiness. But the Nine of Cups is about literally about having a lot of your dreams being established and emotional fulfillment to the highest level. So both of these cards together just shows um, incredible um, happiness is on your way. Let's put this one down and look at the... Um, the Eight of Wands. Now it shows that there is, in regard to the Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands comes to show that you do need to make a very quick decision. This quick decision is going to be um, very important that you make it quickly and you take advantage of an opportunity and solve a problem at the same time. So make sure that you're quick so that you don't miss out on the opportunity and like I said, solve a problem at the same time in regard to the Seven of Wands. Now the second card that we are going to uh, find out about is the star. I want to see what the star is going to give the collective. So we've got first, uh, we have the magician. So you are going to be empowered in a big way. See, Let's see the second card for the star for the whole collective. Wow, this is incredible. So it shows to me you are going to be empowered just like the magician. Things will be falling into your, into your lap, having things like magic transform for you and perhaps um, having that wish that you always wanted to be, uh, to have being empowered uh, by the magician. The magician is the strongest extreme power coming your way. And also then we have the... Um, the Knight of Swords, which shows that there is some information, some truth is going to come to light and it's going to make you so happy. It is going to be bringing forth one of your wishes. So one of your wishes is going to be happening very quickly and it's going to give you the go ahead, the green light to go ahead. Information, truth is going to come and clarify situations for you and give you access to either information, access to property, land, business, money, um, abundance and wishes being granted. So that is uh, truly magnificent, truly. Now, um, now we will do the, um, we'll find out about what is in your heart, what is your guiding angel wants you to know. Let's have a look, one message for today, for the whole collective. And the message is no. For those of you who are questioning something or wanting to know something, um, the answer seems to be no. And it looks like to me that... Um, you, your higher self is trying to tell you uh, about this, how this uh, situation is, that is the answer is no. So be careful because it's sitting right next to the raven and the truth. Now, the raven uh, is the, the, the caution that you need to, to be careful of. So if you are thinking of embarking on something that might be a little bit dangerous or might be a little bit risky, the answer is no. We will clarify more about this um, with the spirit, uh, animal spirit, to see what they tell us, what messages they want to tell us, and um, it might be a little bit connected to the no to see what's going on for the collective. Okay, so yes, you are going to... Okay, so it shows to me that you need to let go of something. The moth spirit shows surrendering now is the way to go. So there is a situation where you need to let go. There is a situation that is coming to a completion and end. The moth is also about transformations. It's about the death. The de it's about like the death card where things um, come to a completion. One major area of your life has to come to an end. So you need to surrender. You need to let go. So maybe that's why they're saying no. You don't need to pursue this matter. You have to let go of it and surrender to it. There will has to be a completion. Now you co-creating with spirit shows to me again this is the crow the raven it comes twice um if you can just pick up the raven next to it the raven twice in your reading it's showing me caution caution um in the way you are uh considering if you are considering something or if you are taking a risk now caution is needed and the caution here seems to be um happening uh, in regard to your freedom in regard to a new beginning and in regard to transcending you from where you are to a better level so whatever truth comes to light you need to be a bit cautious how to proceed especially uh, the proceeding part uh, with the uh, nod of swords showing that you need to you can proceed they will give you the go ahead to proceed you will have the power but you need to use caution and you need co to to sort of let the spirit guide you so that you can literally be free from a situation and transcend your position where you are now to a better level let's have a look at the angel cards and see what messages uh, what else they want to tell us so the no is about surrendering and letting go just to make that clear 
because something has to come to an end. Now, the second, uh, the two other messages are honeymoon. We got honeymoon the other day. I think it was yesterday. And it shows that time out, many of you are planning to take time out, taking a trip, a romantic trip um, with, with someone you care about or you love your person. You might be taking time out. Some of you could be planning um, your wedding and then your honeymoon. But it is about... It's about romantic holidays, romantic trips away, um, planning something really beautiful. In some cases, it might be uh, not only romantic, but it's, romance is number one, but there might be trips, families planning trips together, planning to, to go to places and see people. There is um, a trip that is uh, a blissful uh, holiday coming for everybody. Unrequited love, how amazing. I think we got both of these cards together yesterday or the day before. Unrequited love is about a relationship that's no longer working. And that's why we've got this uh, card here, the moth spirit, uh, which is saying surrender, let go. There is a relationship that has not much left in it. It's a relationship or a situation that there is nothing to keep it happening. There is no connection. There is no attraction. There is no chemistry. Or there might be chemistry. There might not be anything else. There is something that you need to really give up on. A relationship that, that has not enough love and enough emotion to keep it going. So that's why they're saying no. Perhaps if you're asking, will this continue? Will it be better? The answer is no. And you need to surrender and let go of this. Because there isn't enough love to hold it together. So um, now let's have a look at the Chinese cookies to see what they are telling you. One thing is important for you to know, for those of you who are um, in this situation where you don't want to let go or it's hard for you to let go, you need to know that there is going to be a lot of nurturing supporting you to the next level. Someone wonderful could be planned for you. To have this happy ever after, you can't be with someone that there is no love left to hold. Uh, the um, the love is the energy that bonds um, two people together. So if that's not there, there is no way you can have your dream, wishes, emotional fulfillment to the highest level. So um, you need to know that's what's coming for you. That's what you are destined for. So that's why perhaps some situations are not working. Now let's have a look at the uh, Chinese cookies. The two messages. Now, my dear viewers, as for the first message, it says major life change. It says time is right for major life changes as new lifestyle or location brings great joy. And that's where um, the Ten of Cups comes to play. The Ten of Cups shows extreme happiness coming your way, joy and trouble free existence. So um, some of you could be just having this new lifestyle that's going to be filled with happiness and abundance. And some of you are going to be relocating and moving to a better place, a place where it's going to bring you joy and trouble-free existence. So that's truly wonderful. Now, the second card, the second message says reflection. It says friendships in your life could come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. Like you have the um, Page of Cups. The Page of Cups is about someone that's going to be inspirational, coming into your life as a form of friendship, perhaps someone that's going to be there, supportive, even though they might not be there forever, but they are coming at a time where you are um, going to be blossoming due to these um, stronger friendships that you might be making with this person. So even though things are ending, but there are splendid and spectacular transformations bringing you extreme happiness and luck and abundance of nurturing power and energy from your guiding angels not to mention justice for you in every possible way and they've got your back in every possible way and it's with with this, with this um ending i would like to send you my deepest deepest blessings to all of you and wish you the greatest happiness for those of you who are celebrating birthdays or anniversaries, my best wishes and my blessings to each and every one of you. Thank you all for being supportive um, in, in my time of um, that I haven't been well, especially with my left hand and my breathing. I'm grateful to all of you. Thank you all for being there for me. If I say thank you every day, it's not enough. Blessings to you all. Namaste.